Imagine you sit around the Christmas table and Granny Paula decides to give you $750. You as a hardcore Sega of Survival player are thinking of spending that money into the game. But there are literally a thousand features within the game and you can't come to conclusions to what you want to buy. You just had a conversation with your geek nephew and after a three hour long debate you got it narrowed down by two things, the behemoth or tier 12. To give you a little bit of context, right now the behemoth costs about 20,000 in skills and 24,000 in awakening. Maxing out tier 12 will cost you about 9,000 United States dollars. I am not taking any free materials into account in this video and my goal is to see what you buy best with a low budget. And that budget is exactly 750 dollars, not one cent more. What will be the most useful for either you and your alliance? Now imagine you don't have an anti Paula and every penny you spend in the game is your own, I would highly suggest you to use Paxify. Thanks to Paxify, state of survival players are able to pay 20% less on in-game purchases and by using them you will have more money left for your Christmas presents. If you would like to save some money, make sure to check out the link down below and start saving money today. Thank you Paxify for sponsoring this video. As I mentioned before, the behemoth costs about 50,000 United States dollars. 50k is a completely insane price and you shouldn't spend that amount of money in a game. Anyways, the first branches of the behemoth skill are pretty inexpensive. Early on, you only have to spend a few bio batteries to upgrade your skills. 180 bio batteries got me to level 12 in the first skill. And if you look at the best bundles for the behemoth, you get 945 bio batteries for the price of $185. Now keep in mind that you haven't upgraded your behemoth level and the enhancement of your behemoth, which unlocks the better skills. Besides bio batteries, you also have to spend on the behemoth cells and the serum. Otherwise, you will be very limited in your upgrade choices. And that's absolutely not what you want when you spend $750. Now, what are the pros to spend on the behemoth? It is one of the most overpowered features in the game and will truly be a complete game changer if you can upgrade your behemoth to a certain level. The behemoth also has its clear downsides. Only the 8 strongest will be taken in account in a rally. It is more expensive than my rent for the year and you can only use it in one march. And you can barely get any free materials as a free-to-play player. By the way, State of Survival, you did a good job with tier 12 free materials. You can do the same for the gorilla. If you want to completely max tier 12, you will need 9,000 United States dollars. Now the tier 12 research is more than just troops. Let's do a little pop quiz. Guess the price of all tier 12 troops. There will be three options on the screen. You have one more second to complete. Exactly, it is $750. Now what are the pros for tier 12? You can use them in every single march. They are substantially stronger than tier 11 and right now you can get a lot of free materials. Is it less overpowered than the behemoth? But if you ask me, I would rather spend 750 on troop tiers than 50,000 on behemoth. Back to our budget of $750. In general, I'm a bigger fan of spending that money on tier 12 troops, because overall I think it's a better deal. Tier 12 riders didn't make a huge difference in my testing, so I would suggest upgrading your hunters and your infantry to tier 12, which will cost you 500 United States dollars without any free materials, and I would invest the rest of the money into your behemoth. Anyways, I hope this video makes you make the right decisions in game and if you enjoyed it, make sure to slap the like button. Thank you for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye!